now from South Seminole Academy in Castleberry, Florida. Direct from the third floor of building number three, this is South Seminole News. Good afternoon, Hurricanes. Happy Win Win Wednesday. I'm Nathaniel. And I'm Crystal. It's October 23rd, 2019. Welcome to South Seminole News. Let's check in with Destiny for the daily report. Hello, Destiny. Good morning, guys. Today's weather looks a little cloudy in the afternoon. We have, uh, we have partly cloudy skies and a high of 80 degrees. Today's lunch special is boneless wings, mashed potatoes with gravy and a dinner roll. Tomorrow is chicken parmesan spaghetti with broccoli. Remember to check with us all year for weather updates and lunch specials. The South Seminole math tutoring schedule is out and we have many different options for students. Before and after school, Monday to Friday, look for the schedule every day here on the news. Plus, we also have it posted outside the newsroom here at room 312, please. Also, you can find it above the water fountains and the display cases around the school. That's today's daily report. I'm Destiny. Now back to you guys. Thanks, Destiny. JV and varsity volleyball teams lost very close matches last week. The season is coming to an end today when the girls play at home against Tuscawilla Middle. We hope to see you there. Good, Good luck to all teams in the final week. Look for the games on our YouTube page at South Seminole News. Any students that wish to learn more and explore the magnet program for next, next school year, the High School Choice Expo information slip can be found on our door or outside the newsroom. Over the next few weeks, different schools will have an expo to show you what they have to offer. Visit us at room 312C for more information. The Latinos in Action team is taking the lead and wants to help the Reed family in the Bahamas. If you would like to purchase a bracelet, please visit room 231. The braided bracelets are $3 and the natural wood bracelets are 7 All items are made by hand from the students and they will donate all money to earned to the family. Thank you to the Latinos in Action for hard work. Attention students, do you enjoy art, music, and dance? Or have an interest in writing, producing films, and taking photos? Then join us and have fun. Unleash your inner artist with the PTA Reflections. This year's theme, Look Within, calls for your own unique interpretation through the arts. Pick up submission guidelines and an entry form today from your ELA teacher and return by October 29th. For inspiration, visit the Reflection, Reflection Virtual Art Gallery and learn more about the prizes and scholarships at pta.org slash reflections slash rewards. Any students that placed orders with this year's fundraiser, your order should arrive on November 1st. See Ms. Mafus for any questions about your order. We're going to take a commercial break. During the break, we will look at a special clip of Ms. Wiz Wiz Ollie in her class classroom. And when we come back, we'll tell you about this year's Halloween Spooktober in Castleberry. We'll be right back after this. Hi, my name is Alyssa. And my name is Maggie. And today we are telling you guys about Help the Bahamas. South Seminole Academy is coming together to donate items to the Bahamas after a tragic experience with Hurricane Dorian. In your first period classes, there will be boxes for you to put the items in. The items consist of water, canned foods, clothes of all sizes, blankets, first aid supplies, batteries, and any light source like flashlights. We will be collecting items till the end of the month and then we'll be sending them off to the Bahamas. Also, keep posted for the GoFundMe page if you would like to make a monetary donation. South Seminole Academy is trying to make a big contribution to the Bahamas, and we will appreciate all support. All this information will be on our Instagram page, so you can always look back. We thank you guys for your time and hope that you can help the Bahamas. Hi, sorry to interrupt class. I'm Stephanie Huff, the PTSA president here at South Seminole, and we are here to present our inaugural Teacher of the Month, to Miss Liz Lazali. Oh my goodness. You got some great reviews online. Oh my and we're goodness. very excited. So make sure you treat her like the celebrity she is. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Oh wait, I've got a gift in my hand and everything. <laughs> okay. I've got a good teacher. There you go. 
yeah, right? South Seminole Academy now uses a school-wide identification badge system for our students. Students must wear their photo ID badge at all times while on campus. This has been added as an additional safety measure for our students and staff. It is a quick way for staff to identify individuals on our campus. We are working with our Red Apple Cafe to implement a system for students to use the ID badge to purchase food items, which provides an additional security measure for student accounts. This will also help expedite transactions, giving students more time to enjoy their lunch. Students will be required to present their ID badge for admission into any extracurricular campus activities, such as dances and sporting events. ID badges are considered part of the school uniform. Therefore, not wearing the ID badge will result in discipline consequences. Thank you, and don't forget to storm. Students, mark your calendars for December 2nd through the 6th. SSA will help their will have their first holiday shop in Leadership Hall. Students will be able to purchase items for family and friends as they celebrate the holiday season. Items will be priced between $1 and $10. We will have more information as the dates get closer to us. A special announcement from Officer Bozo. Any students interested in signing up from, for the SSA police, or Student Police Academy, please visit his office in room 27 or visit the front office. Students that participate in the police academy have the opportunity to learn about police equipment, vehicles, online safety, canine units, and fingerprinting. Stop by and sign up today. On October 26th, the city of Castleberry will have their first, will have their Hall Halloween Spooktober Fest at 5 p.m. We hope to see you there in your costume. The event will take place behind City Hall at Lake Concord Park from 5 to 8 p.m. There will, be fun, there will be fun family activities, a dance party, costume contest, and of course, trick-or-treating. A reminder that on Win Win Wednesday, the PBS store will be open during lunch. You may fill out a withdrawal slip to purchase items from the PBS store. Students, ask your teachers about storm bucks and how you may acquire them throughout the school year. And remember to deposit those storm bucks into your banking account before coming to lunch on Wednesday. That's all for today. Make sure to check out us out on Instagram and YouTube at South Seminole News, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, please like the South Seminole Academy and PTSA Facebook pages for more info. And students, every day here at South Seminole Academy, we strive for success, take responsibility, opt to lead, and respect, respect others and make good choices. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Crystal. And I'm Nathaniel. Have a great Wednesday, and don't, don't forget, forget to storm! storm.